standing for online. Then A is standing for A, A left advanced secondary. So it means that T is standing for Tanzania. Then O stands for online. Then uh, we have what again? A is standing for advanced. S is standing for secondary. The second S is standing for school. And the O stands for college online. Wonderful. So this is the abbreviation. So just write, copy this name in YouTube. Tanzania Online A Level Second School in Square Bracket College July M. So here you'll be accessing the real school, the actual school, the online school because it's not the physical school. And then from there you'll find the sequential order of our sessions or of our teaching. Rather than just finding lecture zero, you can find lecture zero, but it's not taught by College July. Wonderful. So this, the, after, afterwards, the next stage, the first stage, we ask you that to click playlist. Why should you click the playlist? We organize, we have departments. For example, we have one department which is called Advanced Physics. So in departments, uh, departments of Advanced, we create one playlist of Advanced Physics, which will be contains all the videos of Form 5 and Form 6 of each topic. Right? And then in Advanced Physics, we have two subjects, Advanced Physics Form 5, Advanced Physics Form 6. Form 6. So you have a playlist for the Advanced Physics Form 5 and Advanced Physics Form 6, where we collect all the session or all the, just all the videos of Advanced Physics Form 5 together and Advanced Physics Form 6 together. You see how it is well organized? Because if that's not the case, or if we don't do that, you can, go, you can get to it lost. So for example, one of the topics of Advanced Physics Form 5 is called Mechanics. So we have created also a playlist for mechanics. So if you're in your channel, if you search the playlist of mechanics, then you'll find all the 11 topics, the videos of all 11 topics of 14 of mechanics. So that is what you have. So you have to expect to find so many playlists in our YouTube channel. So please use the playlist in order to find the collections of the session according to your demand. Then the next stage, the first stage, we ask you click subscribe. Click the word subscribe. Its, its background is red in color and text is white. Then when you click this button, then it will change into subscribe. -y. And the color of the backgrounds will change. And the text will change from subscribe into subscribe. -y. And once you do that, the icon of the bell will appear like this. We ask you to click again this icon of the bell. Then you'll be given three options. The first option is all, second is personalized, and then the third is none. Have you seen it? Okay, so if, if you have seen it, choose the options of all. Then you will receive notification that whenever we add a new session or a new video in our channel. I want just to promise you, and just to, to promise you, I'm praying to God at least to add one video in our YouTube channel every day during the evening. For during the school time, during the school time, uh, we, we add this video around 5 p.m. Right, 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. in between. But during the vacations, we add this video early in the morning at 7 a.m. So you may start this. It means you may take advantage of it. Okay? So that's very important. So why should you subscribe? We have a vision to record more than 500 videos of advanced physics, advanced chemistry, and the uh, advanced mathematics and the basic applied mathematics. So you will have you will receive notification whenever we add a new video. Right? That's the end. Then, after you, I believe that you are going to enjoy our training. Because it's God who is going to teach you, not me, but God in me. Right? God in all in July is going to teach you. Then, after you, you enjoy, you can like. If you, you don't enjoy, you can dislike. Right? So have a freedom of choice yourself. I don't force you that you must like no. You can like or you can dislike. But according to my research, many students used to say yes. So it means they like the way that I teach them, okay? Then, once you like, you are, you are happy, then the next process, you have to, you are, you, in your mind, you do observations, who can I share? Who can benefit of this? That is the human nature. So because you are happy, you want to share with your classmates. You want to share this information with other students. There's no limitation of this program. This is the digital programs. You can access these contents anywhere in the world where there is the access of the internet. So it means if you're in Kigoma, 
you can enjoy the beauty of advanced physics in Kigoma. No need for you to go to Dar es Salaam. If you're in Dodoma, you can enjoy the beauty of advanced physics in Dodoma. If you're in Songwe, you can enjoy the beauty of physics in Songwe. No need for you to quit from your place. If you are you're studying your advanced educations in Kagera, you can enjoy the beauty of advanced physics in Kagera. The internet, the internet will transmit this message to you wirelessly. If you're enjoying this content from Mara, you can enjoy the beauty of advanced physics in Mara. If you advance, if you Student, your advanced students in Kilimanjaro, you can enjoy the contest, this contest in Kilimanjaro. If you advanced this students in Rukwa, you can enjoy this contest in Rukwa. No need for you to go into the Dar es Salaam, the business city, where you can accumulate. If you're students in Twara Technical, for example, or located in Twara, no need for you to move and seeking for them and hunger for the knowledge of advanced physics, advanced chemistry, advanced mathematics, and basic applied mathematics. No, you just need the internet, you just need a receiving device. That's all. And then you start to enjoy and you, stay, you, you need a fresh mind. And then everything is coming in your house at any time and anywhere. Wonderful. Okay. So it means that you are allowed to share the link of this video. It means that you click like or share or dislike, like or dislike, click share. To share link, this link via WhatsApp. You can share with your other students via WhatsApp. You can share this content with other students via Facebook. You can share this contents with your team, with other students through Twitter, through Instagram, through email, or by your email. I believe that do all of these procedures before you start the session because when you start the sessions, you will be happy, you will be enjoying the beauty of advanced physics and you might not even get lost along the way. Again, I would like just to give you the last announcement and then we start. When we're establishing, or when God has, been, uh, has given us this idea, we're not satisfied to have the school itself or just for training. Also, we ask God to open the doors for us to have on Tanzania Online Advanced Library. So we have a library and we have sample books right now. So it's still operating. The first reference books that you need is called the Physics uh, Syllabus for Advanced Secondary Education from 5 through from 6. You can order this book nowadays. It's rarely, uh, you can find them rarely, but uh, you can order the copy of this book. It's a wonderful book. It's a, I recommend this book for every student in advanced education. I know many teachers in government and private school that don't insist the students to go through the syllabus. But that makes students to be inactive in learning because if you have this syllabus, you can learn yourself how you can extract knowledge from the book. Right? If I just use myself and then I don't entertain you, when you will be attending the trainings where I won't be there, then you will be too much dependent. The good news, you can order this, just go to the description below, you can order this book and we can transport, means that we can send it to you in any regions or 31 regions. Again, we have some of the reference book, which I will mention because I mentioned the reference books that you need uh, in order for you to master advanced physics. Uh, that is session 00, so it's called S. Chandi's Principles of Physics 1. So this is Chandi 1, and also we have Chandi 2. You see, you as advanced students, you have to enjoy the beauty of advanced physics by reading this book. It doesn't mean that you have to read everything in this book. That's why that you need your team to have a syllabus on your right hand side. So if the book, the textbook is on your left hand side, then the syllabus should be on, on your right hand side like this way, right? So like this way. So if you have them, so you look what should they cover from this uh, syllabus from this book of the syllabus and then you find that concept in, in this textbook but that is not enough learning advanced physics need a lot of information need a lot of resources again so we like to prepare our questions to answer advanced certificate secondary education examination questions which you call them nectar physics one paper one paper two and paper three so we have also questions and answers which you call advanced physics one review this is for paper one uh, actually comprises questions and answers from 2003 and 2016. We are going to use this, all of these reference books that I'm mentioning to you. Also, you need advanced physics to review. This is questions and answers contain questions of, from, of the nectar to from 2016 to, to 2020, right? Wonderful. So again, we'll be sharing, we need the past papers. For example, uh, the past paper of advanced physics from, from uh, 2020, 2021. Yes, so you can access it and even 2022 is not yet when I'm recording this program. So you need these books. Also, we have as uh, we have to equip you with an original scientific calculator. Uh, we recommend Casio Function 981 MS. There is the number one and number two. We have also in our Tanzania online uh, online 
online advanced library. We have original scientific calculator number one and number two, but we recommend for all lovers of advanced physics or advanced education, especially in physics, in chemistry and biology, in chemistry, in chemistry we recommend them to order number one scientific calculator because it's original and it's strong and it's actually lasting longer rather than number two because number two is for the business students or for the students who are studying business studies. You are not studying business studies, you are studying advanced mathematics, kind of the challenging subject in advanced physics. So you can order the, this package. There's a discount, a great discount that you receive from Tanzania Online Advanced uh, Library. We have we receive the discount, you see? So this is the package. You can order the package or larger than this because these are the sample books, right? So you can order this entire package. We will be using, it means we'll spend the same shipping cost or minimum shipping cost. So you can enjoy and have the truth of advanced physics in your house. Or advanced physics, you have the truth of advanced physics in your dormitory if your government is school. So yes. again, we say that we have, we have departments in our school. One of the departments is called advanced physics. And the subject today is called advanced physics. And today we are focusing, we are preparing the pre-form five students uh, and this are uh, contents for pre-form five, for pre-form six, for form six, for form five students, or class 11, some of the countries, for example, in India. So for five is called in class 11, right? Okay, so then in Tanzania, we have students who start advanced education or advanced physics, advanced, advanced physics in either of these, in any of these uh, four combinations. You may be studying PCM, you may be studying PCB, P, or you can study a combination of PMC, or maybe study the combinations of PGM. P stands for advanced physics, C stands for advanced chemistry, M stands for advanced mathematics, B stands for advanced biology, and C stands for computer science, and the G stands for advanced geography. So you're looking for the advanced physics. Again, I want to tell you, this program, or what we are trained with these programs can benefit to our government uh, advanced secondary students who are in boarding or days, can, can, can benefit also private or, or advanced secondary students who are studying in private schools, day and boarding. And these programs also can, can benefit uh, private, uh, actual private, uh, just we call them so, uh, open schools or receipts of advanced secondary, uh, advanced certificate secondary education examination. So receipts can benefit from this program, right? Even just the hobbyist and teachers who are teaching advanced physics, they can benefit on this, all of these sessions because when myself, I used to learn from other teachers. One thing that I have to uh, just to answer you, I don't know everything about advanced physics. I just know the small portions of what of advanced physics. So I honor the contributions of other teachers. So I don't know everything, I just know a small question, but I have an assignment to teach others what I know. I'm learning always about advanced physics because I love it for the rest of my life. Okay, that's, does it make sense? Okay. So we are in some bit of advanced physics, as I said, so we dedicate these contents to all the pre form five students or four five students who are studying this combination. Wonderful. So I'll give you some other announcements later on. Let us, let us go into the business which make us make us meet. Okay. Let me start with the big picture of science. Okay. So let me start with the first thing. The big say big picture. Let us go inside advanced physics. Big picture of 40. Big picture of physics. Physics. Big picture of physics. In the, in the mind, in the mind of Olen Jobara. I'm a teacher of advanced physics, in the mind of Olen Jobara, which I want to introduce to you. Basically, advanced physics is one of the oldest subjects in our life, that we made in our life. So this advanced physics, before we used to call it in science, during the primary education, or this is just, let's say, the huge subject of science. So this huge subject of science, we began the journey when we have learned about basic science, okay, basic science in primary, in primary, in primary education. In primary education. So in primary education, we learn science in English medium school, primary school, and even uh, in Swahili 
medium primary school. We learned a subject called the science, it's very called the science, science. Okay. So this, uh, for, for example, myself, I'm a product of Swahili primary education. So I used to call it the science. So once you, we graduate and we did the, uh, the standard seven, standard seven, what? Standard seven, next exam, next exam, okay, next exam. Then once we pass, then we join it. We joined ordinary secondary education. And then we continue to study the beauty of science. And the subject of science now is going to be divided into three subjects. So this is all level. And this is all about form one through form four. So the subject of science will be divided into three branches. The first one will be physics. And physics, you can study physics from form one to form four. Then the second one is called chemistry. Okay, chemistry. And this one also you study from form one to form four. Chemistry. Then the next subject is called biology. Say biology. So biology also you can study from form one to form four. Wonderful. So these are the three subjects that we find. And then afterward, we did an examination. So we did an examination, school duty, certificate, secondary education examination. So it means that if we take the route of physics, it means that we can go here. When we, we pass the exams called the certificate in Tanzania, called certificate secondary education examination, then we say that here we have physics, Physics, so physics, and then we pass it a certificate, secondary education examination. Okay, this is the big picture of physics. Something new, because we have never heard it. But you should have this sequence, and you have to know where are we. So now we have passed it this day. So once you pass the certificate, secondary education examination, you can take route of physics in different in three ways, okay? In three ways. You can take route of physics in, in three ways. You can study pure physics, and you can study applied physics. So simply you can study applied physics. So the rules of applied duty, applied physics. And this applied physics may be mostly in engineering. In engineering. For example, mechanical engineering. So this one, you may find this knowledge under vector colleges or, or, or vector, vector colleges. In the name of the vector, the long, it's a long, the long term is vocational education and training authority. So that is the first route. The second route, you can study or you can uh, study what the subject called advanced physics. The one that we're teaching you, advanced physics, and this is A level from five to form six. So this will be A level. While this category is what in this vector. Okay? So advanced physics. So advanced physics, uh, yeah, so it's A level. So we call it A level physics or pure physics, whatever you call it. So this is the point where we are right now. Again, some of the uh, some of the students they used to take a gain or the advantage means to learn applied basically means applied basically physics okay physics in what in ordinary diploma ordinary diploma so all the four routes all the three routes can help you depends on what are you seeking for Right? So when you take the big picture of advanced physics, it's advanced physics. The subject of advanced physics is being divided in, into two main subjects. Do you know them? Tell me in the comment section, please. The first one is called the advanced physics. Advanced physics from five. The one that I'm teaching you right now. Form 5. 
Then the second subject is called advanced, advanced physics, advanced physics form, form six. Advanced physics theory, form six. This I'll teach you later. So right now, here we are. Okay? So this is the big picture that we have in our mind. Okay? So you have advanced physics for five. Advanced physics for the form five. Or in other countries, we call it advanced physics for class 40, class level. So this is the point where we are. The next point now, which is advanced physics for the form five, just to give you the overview, the general overview. However, that I'll mention it later on. Okay? So we have basic advanced physics for five. We have five, we have four main topics. Say four main topics. The first one is called what? Mechanics. The second one is called what? Heat. The third one is called what? Waves and vibration. The other one is called what? Electrostatic. I'll mention them, don't worry. While advanced physics form six, according to the new syllabus of the United Republic of Tanzania, right? Students have to learn five topics effectively and understand because the exam will be testing the concept or the understanding of all the five topics. The first topic is called the electromagnetism. The second topic in advanced physics form 60 is called the current electricity. The third topic in advanced physics form 60 is called the atomic physics. The fourth topic in advanced physics form 60 is called the uh, electronics, one of, one of the, my favorite subject topic. And then the last one is called the environmental physics. That's the first one. So in total, there are how many? There are nine main topics or chapters of advanced physics for the entire level according to the syllabus of the United Republic of Tanzania. Tell me in the comment section how many main topics do you cover for advanced physics in, in, in Nigeria? How many topics do you cover in advanced physics in the United States of America? Tell me in the comment section, please. I, will, I want to learn from you. Okay. So it means that the, all the two, 200 videos will be talking about these uh, nine topics of 40 of advanced physics. Please, I want to clean here. I want to clean this part of the blackboard. I ask you to, to make sure that you, are team, you copy these instructions. Pause the video and then copy. Thank you. Okay. Remember, this is session 00, general introduction of 40 of advanced physics from 5 and D from 6. So, ladies and gentlemen, after sharing to you a big picture, I will continue later. So, I think that this is the big picture, and this, this is what is general introduction. I call it the general introductions of advanced physics. So, I will be mentioning in details the names of these topics. Don't worry. But let me, uh, uh, yes. I think that, yes, I think that yeah, I have to mention them, okay? So I say that in chapters, before I share, I share with you about reference books, chapters or topics or, <coughs> okay, chapters or topics, topics of 40 of advanced, advanced, physics. So this is the second thing that I want to share with you. Advanced physics. Okay. Form 5. Form 5. So go to form 6. Okay. According to because, okay. Okay. Just let me have that subtitle and then I'll give you the instruction. So let me start with this sentence. In physics, you say that according to the new physics, physics syllabus, for 
advanced in for advanced in secondary for advanced in secondary for advanced in secondary education for advanced secondary education uh, form five to form six by so this has been written or prepared by Tanzania Institute of Education. Okay. So it said that there are there are nine nine topics of what of advanced in physics from for the Okay, four and five to form six. These are so those so this I call them in the syllabus you have called them topics, but for me according to my research and my experience in teaching, I call them the main topics because Within the main topics, we are going to have the topics, not subtopics, no. Because subtopics is something small. Okay? So, regardless of the names that you will be called, but the issue is you have to remember that these are the top main topics, right? So, these are main topics. So, these are main topics. I want to build this concept main in our mind in advance. Main topics of what? Of Advanced in physics. Okay, advanced in physics in form five or form six. So for the physics, for advanced in physics in A, advanced in physics in for advanced in physics in form five. For advanced in physics form five. The first main topic, the first main topic, we call it in mechanics. Stay with me, mechanics. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the Preform 5 students. Congratulations for passing Certificate Secondary Education Examination. Congratulations for opting to study Advanced Education. Congratulations for being, for deciding to study A, one of that combination. Congratulations also for you to be admitted in a particular school, or maybe you have a hope that you be admitted in a particular school. And congratulations also to, for taking precautions in advance, means for learning advanced physics in, uh, in advance before you reported to your school. So you're warmly welcome. Don't worry, I will be with you and you'll be with me. Okay? So the first topic is called mechanics, say mechanics. This mechanics, the, this is the main topic. Mechanics itself comprises 11 topics, which we are going to cover them. But mechanics itself also comprises some other, or comprises four branches, which is called measurements, mechanics, fluid dynamics, and also the other ones is called properties of matter. And each and all of these four branches break down into 11 topics which you have to cover, my dear students. One of the longest topic, one of the challenging topics, not difficult, one of the challenging, depends on how you define it, one of the challenging topic for the entire subject of advanced physics is mechanics. And I want to tell you, if you master my mechanics, my dear student, you will be enjoying the beauty of physics for the rest of your life. Because mechanics you'll find in every, in every concept, in every aspect of life. If you go in industry, you find mechanics. If you travel in the bus, you find mechanics. If you travel by, using, by, by a train, then you find out the mechanics. So mechanics is over the place. And mechanics is the mother of what? Of engineering. Okay. So I'm not a mechanical engineer. I'm an electronics and telecommunication engineer. Okay. And biomedical engineer. So the second the top main topic is called the heat. This is the shortest topic in in physics, advanced physics for five. The third topic is called the waves. 
very interesting waves. I am a, a student of who learns music, so I understand the applications of waves in music. Waves and dotting and vibrations. Very interesting topic. Okay, the first topic, the first main topic is called the, or we call it electrostatic. Some of the book are the quality, what? Static electricity. So in form five, for advanced physics form five, we have just the four main topics. But each topic breaks down into branches or any topic. For example, heat breaks down into three topics. The first one is sonometry and sonometers, and the second one is called the uh, heat transfer, and the last one we call it thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics or thermodynamics. Waves and vibrations also break down. We have mechanical waves, we mean then it's about electromagnetic uh, mechanical waves and we have electromagnetic waves. And mechanical waves also we have some other topic. And also we have the cases of properties of waves, okay? Or properties of light, we call it just light wave, okay, okay, we can call it light wave. Okay, and then we have electrostatic. Electrostatic itself breakdowns into five topics. The first one, the general introduction of electrostatic. The second one's electric force. The third one is called electric field. Yeah, electric field. Uh, electric field, yeah, electric field. Then the third one is called electric potential. And the last one is called the capacitance. Wonderful. Okay. So these are the five main topics of advanced physics you can find. B. We have also four. We have also five topics of advanced physics informatic. So we have five topics or 40 of advanced in physics form six. Advanced in physics forty form six. Okay? We have forty five topics. The first one, which will be number five in this sequence, is called the electromagnetism. One of the interesting topic, electromagnetism. Very important for electrical engineers, very important in real life application. Electromagnetism, say it with me, electromagnetism. Then the, the sixth topic is called the current electricity. In form five, we teach about electrostatic or static electricity. Here we teach about current load, current electricity. Current electricity. Then the seventh topic, after teaching the current electricity, we call it, we have to teach about atomic physics. Let me do it. The next one is it atomic physics. Let me check. Or oh, electronics. I want to check. I have a doubt. So I want to clear the doubt. Yes, the third one is electronics. So the third topic is called, which is the seventh topic in the entire advanced physics. It's called electronics. Many students used to quit the stage when they are learning electronics. Many students. Even myself, when I was in advanced education, I had a plan to quit, but I thank God who have real encouraged me that you can make it. So I learned in hard environment because I had so many questions and I didn't have uh, a good teacher uh, who can answer all or, or even some of my questions. So I was struggling myself. <clears throat> so it's called what electronics, but I want to tell you, because you're a student right now of Tanzania Online Advanced in Secondary School in Square Bracket on July M, I'm going to teach you in a very different ways and nearly to the practical electronics because I've specialized in, in this topic. So I want I don't I, I don't know how you'll accept it or you just will deliver you receive this information, but the, the most difficult topics for other students to you will be the most favorite sub topic because I will teach you in a very simplified language and I'll use a real life examples so that you'll enjoy and you'll never forget for the rest of your life. Okay, the next topic, which is number eight in this listing, will be atomic physics. Previously, during our, our, our time, we call this modern physics. But here, the syllabus called the atomic physics, where we have, what, four topics. Okay, we have four topics of so atomic physics, and the relationship between atomic physics and general chemistry. The last one, last topic in, in this listing, we call it environmental physics. Say environmental physics. 
So you have environmental physics. So let me check, yes, environmental physics. So the last topic is called the environ, environmental, environmental physics. Say environmental physics, environmental physics. My dear student, I would like to advise you in advance. Physics need serious students. And you have to get prepared to study, to spend much time on learning, and you have to prepare your mind to receive and store so many information than ever, more than ever. And you have to tell your mind that this is the next stage or it's another level of learning advanced physics. So how many topics in total? Nine. Form four, how many main topics do you have? Four. Form five, how many topics? Form six, how many main topics do you have? Nine. And I want to tell you, I'll keep on praying for you and ask you to keep praying for me and keep for this program to prosper or to succeed. I have a vision to teach you all of this topic because God has taught me every topic there, every main topic there. I thank God that he has taught me in a very, in a very simplified and I have taught more than 200, more than 2,000, more than 2,000 students physically for three years, right? So it doesn't mean that I'm very experienced on that, on this aspect, but when I went to the advanced to, to undergraduate education, I've been going through all of this stuff to refresh the means that to clear, to clean anything, any poisonous, or any poisonous concept that I used to, uh, I used to just I used to care along my process or my channel 40, along my channel of life. Okay. So this is what we have to, or I had to share with you. Another thing that comes in your mind, okay, you agree that this is the channel of physics. And a channel of mine. My, my kilometer start with one step. So this is one step today. The third thing, or the third concept that I want to share with you in this session zero of general introduction, of general, so, excuse me, made a mistake in this way, general, general introduction. Okay, general introduction. So, So I would like to present before you, ladies and gentlemen, reference, reference books, reference books, notes, and writing and materials, and materials of what? Of learning advanced in physics. Advanced in physics from five and from six. So, what are the reference books that the syllabus recommend for you, and even the educational system recommend for you, and myself as a teacher of advanced physics recommend for you? So, you have so many reference books that you have to go through in order for you to master advanced in physics, but I'll mention some. Okay? The first reference material that you need is this one. It's the one that I've already showed you or mentioned before, physics in syllabus. So this is the name of that book, physics in syllabus for advanced in physics in syllabus for advanced in secondary. The syllabus for advanced in secondary education, education from five to six. This is by what? Tanzania Institute of Education. Physics syllabus for advanced in secondary education from five to from six. And I recommend this to every student who study advanced physics. I recommend, please have this book 
if you are studying PCM or PCB or PGM or PMC in Tanzania. Have this book, please. You can order through our Tanzania Online Advanced Library or you can, or you can just find it in the local shop. Very important book I'm going to use in every session. And I ask you to use this book even if that you are learning somebody's contents or not prepared by Ngote or by, maybe by any other teacher. Right? I think that you've understood. You can order this. Remember that you can order online. No need to meet physical. That is the first reference material that or reference book that you need. It will help you to know the boundaries, to know what should you learn, what should you come. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me share with you uh, principles. Uh, it means the book, the one that I've showed you, it's called the principles. Principles of what? Principles of physics. Principles of physics, and this is by S. Chand. Principles of physics by S. Chand, and this is we have two. We have class. <coughs> we have class eleven. Class eleven, and the answers are V. K. Meta. V. K. Meta, and the other one is called the and right. So these are the physicists, right meter, who have been teaching physics in, in India for a long time. And then they have decided to put what they know in the book. This for physics, S charge, class 30, class 11, and these are the answers. In Tanania, this book is famous with the name Chandi One. This is called the, uh, What's it? it called just a brand name. Okay? It's a book that I showed you. I have I came with its sample that you can access or you can order in our Tanania online uh, secondary library, uh, advanced library, Tanania online advanced library. This is what you call the uh, principles of physics by S. Chand. And this is class 11. This is Chand 1, right? This is Chand 1. Wonderful. Have a photo of it. So, remember it in your mind. So this is the recommended reference book. But that's not enough because it, it just contains concepts or topics that you have to learn in Form 5. It contains mechanics, heat, and possibly waves and vibrations, but does not contain electricity. So you need another book. This physicist also wrote another book in order to so it's called the principles of what? Principles of physics. Principles of physics. And this is my S chant. Okay, S chant. This is class 12 now. Class 12. Corresponding to what? Topics of the form 6. Class 11. Corresponding to what? Topics of form 5. So the same author. VK Meta VK Meta and the Roit Meta Roit Meta Roit Meta So this also is famous in Tanzania with the name the quality channel 2 Please my dear students if you pre form 5 have these books in advance, the advanced. The first reference book is fourth edition, okay, called it Roger Mancaster. So you have the author is Roger Mancaster. Roger Mancaster. And the book is called the A Level Physics. A Level Physics. A Level Physics. And this A Level Physics, we call it what? First edition. 
So it's called the, the name of the book is called the Label of Physics. But in Tanzania, this book is famous with the name of the author. It's called the, we used to call it Roger Mancaster. So it's just called the Roger. Right? So if you ask your classmate, please can you help me uh, your book? What book do you want? Okay, I need Roger, Man uh, Roger Mancaster. Aha, uh -huh. okay. How long are you going to use? I just want to use it two days and then I will turn back to you. So that's what you call Roger. Instead of calling A level physics, it's, it's just to call it from previous generations, Roger Mancaster. The first reference book that he recommended me can have either seven, seventh or eighth edition edition of what principles of physics principles principles of physics Seventh, eighth edition, and here you have what the principles of what principles of physics by M. Namco. M. Namco and Tata. Namco and the Tata. So seventh edition, seventh and eighth edition, Principles of Physics by M. Nelcon and Parker. Wonderful. So that's the name of 40 of the book. I know this book and I used it and will enjoy it. The sixth reference book is called the number two. This is for the business students. We don't recommend it. It's cheap. It is cheaper than this. We recommend this one. This is original certificate calculator, like mine, like this one. This is my certificate calculator. I've been using it for three years, and no any any failure that it has experienced. So we are ordering original certificate calculator, and we are set, we are distributing it in a, a good affordable price. Go to the description of this video. You will see the price of it. Or later on, I will just mention when I will review our selling list, right? So that's very important. We are going to use the scientific calculator more than you think. If you have one, that is good. Okay, so this is the context of 40 of textbook. Again, we have another context, and this context is question and answer books. Okay, so QM. So this is B. Question and answer. Books. According to my research, for all the subjects that we used to teach advanced secondary students, physics, advanced physics is the longest subject than all artistic subject, all business subject, all economic subjects, all chemistry subject, or chemistry, or all chemistry, it means entire chemistry, entire biology. Physics, advanced physics, it's the longest and very challenging and most challenging than other subjects, right? Okay, so questions and answer books, so QA, or question and answer books. Question and answer books, or materials. Materials and writing, and notes, and notes. Right? So here we have also a number of the reference material that we recommend. The first one is the book which I say contains advanced certificate secondary education examination. Physics uh, paper one. So advanced physics in uh, secondary education examination physics paper one. So this one, its name has been written advanced. Advanced Physics 1, 
advanced physics one review review simply we call it you this is advanced certificate second education examination paper paper one paper one that the first reference book which is question and answer this does not uh, does not explain any or does not teach you about a particular concept so it just if you open the next after table of contents the next thing just a premium whatever just in the information then you find the rest uh, the next page this is uh labeled page one it's a 2003 physics paper one that's what you'll find okay so the second question and answers reference book is a book called the advanced physics advanced physics to review or this one in other words we call it in the advanced certificate secondary educa uh, education examination paper two paper two So this you call the numbering is reference book 14 and this the reference book 15. So we go for the reference book number 16. Pass papers, okay. So you need also pass papers, reference, advanced physics pass papers, examination. So you need advanced physics, advanced, advanced physics, advanced physics, advanced physics, uh, form five, and form six. Past the papers, past the papers, past papers, and this it can be midterm term of your school, midterm term past paper, and also you have terminal past paper, terminal past paper, and then you have so that is midterm term past paper, terminal. It can be annual past paper, it can be joint past paper, it can be primoco, primoco past paper, then it can be moco past paper. So you should have five of them. Moco past paper, it can be pre, prenecta past paper. Can be neighbor school, can be a hosa, past paper, etc. etc. Simply should have advanced physics for five and advanced physics for six past papers. Right? And again, I have a good news you have to keep on praying for. <laughs> the vision, uh, called the vision that you will be given uh, 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 from God, this is a, a complete school. So, a complete school does not have only finishers. It also includes students. And the community schools does not have students who are just learning and will not be tested, they understand. The good thing also, we are still designing the methodology that we are going to use in order to include testing and exams in our program. So if it would be you, it mean that I could declare my hands and lift up my hands and thank you God for the good plans for the Tanzanians advanced secondary students. They just will be using the digital technology, but will be conducting the midterm test, the annual exam, the terminal exam of, uh, of advanced physics, advanced chemistry, basic applied mathematics, and advanced mathematics, you see, and even pre-mock exam, mock exams, will be just 
testing you. Whenever we cover something, then we can give you the overview so that you will be well equipped to tackle advanced certificate secondary education examination. That's what I've been reminded in, uh, and, the, and the Lord has, re, has reminded me because I try to imagine a students who are learning these contents possibly in Rupa, in Sumbawanga, right? So it means that if I teach him or her without giving him uh, and testing his understanding or his or her understanding, then you find that something is missing because he'll be tested, he or she'll be tested by the uh, maybe a national exams, which, which is we call it advanced certificate secondary education examination, which is not good to go directly and test yourself in that final exam. While we can test you in advance, that the objective of midterm, annual, whatever, those is just testing your understanding and the testing your level of comprehensions before you go for the final exam. So that the good news, keep praying for that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's say that this is the end of lecture session 00, the general introductions of advanced physics. But it's a, uh, uh, it's, a, it's compulsory in most cases, except in a few cases, for me in every session to leave for the homework. So now it's a time for homework. I want to give you just a simple homework, right? Homework. So homework one. This is homework zero, zero. And the question is, the one that you have learned four or five years ago, what is, what is physics? What is physics? That's the question that you have to do with. Only this question. Without questioning the Google search engine, ask yourself, what is physics? You still remember, what, what is physics? What are we studying? Because you are studying advanced physics, what are you studying? So please answer this question in the comment section. So ladies and gentlemen, the Holy Spirit is saying, or well, enjoy it is enough. If I keep on telling you the truth about advanced physics, I will overdose you. Meditate the information that I've shared to you. Watch this video several times as well as you can until these minds click or until these concepts click in your mind. Again, I would like to remind you a few things. Number one, remember to subscribe for you to be registered permanently in Tanzania Online A-Level Circuit School in Square Bracket on July M. Number two, remember to like or dislike and remember to share these contents with other Form 5 and Form 6, other Pre-Form 5 students and Form 6, other Pre-Form 5 students, other Pre-Form 5 students, Form 5 students, uh, Form 6 students and Pre-Form 6 students. Share them with them the beauty of these contents, whether they are receivers, whether they are, it means that they are private schools, private students, whether they are QT, or the, the oldest form of QT, but nowadays we categorize them as what, as private students, send this link of this video in their Facebook number or Facebook page. So send, to me distribute, tell your friends who used to study together in primary education, who used to study together in ordinary secondary education, so tell, tell, share these contents again, as I said that in the beginning, that God is a sponsor of this program. But, so God is the one who is paying the, is initial, the initial cost for this program to begin, and the one who is paying for the running cost. But God has opened the doors for every student and every parent who is watching this program, or every guardian, or every uh, sponsor, or every teacher, or every volunteer, or every leader, of this country, of the country of Tanzania, or even international students, to offer our Father who is never free willing thanksgiving for this program, which worth a lot of money, which you receive it free of charge, but is going to impact your life radically. So you can offer your free willing thanksgiving through this telephone number 0759745331. And the registered name is Olajulaita. In case you want to do bank that transaction, click the descriptions below. Read the descriptions in this video. You will see the bank name, the bank account, so you may do your bank transaction. I want to tell you in advance, we'll be receive your fueling sense giving with the hands of thanks, and we'll be praying earnestly to God to bless you abundantly for what for the portion that you've offered to, to Him through us. And I want to tell you that to be used effectively to pay for the running cost so that 
the promise I gave you of recording more than 500 videos in advanced in, in Tanzania online advanced in secondary school in square bracket on July M will be achieved. Right? So don't ignore that part. It's very important. Of any amount. But don't just offer because we ask you to offer no. We won't be blessed with such kind of day offering. So until we meet in the next session, I invite you in session one, when uh, we'll take now advantage of mechanics, and I'll be giving the general introductions of mechanics, and then we'll go uh, into the first topic of, uh, of the main topic of mechanics. So make sure that you don't miss, invite your friends, invite your classmates to be together when we'll be enjoying these contents as long as we, we, keep, we keep on. So watch this video several times as you can until these concepts build up in your mind. Review those reference books, find those reference books. In case you miss, in our library, we have almost 80% of the reference books that you've mentioned there. So you can order all of them as a package. The only thing that you have to do, read the descriptions, you'll see the link of how you can order our books online. Okay, so may God bless you until we meet in the next session. I love you so much. This is Sir Ole Jolai, Mark of Tayai Osingo. Simply, this is Sir Ole Jolai, who is a national teacher in the nation or in the country called the Tanzania, eastern of the African continent. It's a time now to change the mindset of our students. May God bless you abundantly and keep you until we meet in the next session. Uh, Keep enjoying the beauty of advanced physics.